Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we'll be checking out space weather, another tropical update on Melissa, an Iranian volcano waking up, a new look at Uranus, and the bazillionth sign of the pole shift in the sky. Let's get started, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find that we still have no solar flares. Total halt of sunspot development right now. Coronal hole turning through as well, but sneakily. Filament shutters on the north as well towards the end of the sequence. No eruptive behavior launched our way, and when I said sneakily, I mean that the northern reach of the Corona Hole isn't obvious in 193 angstroms, but it is here. That is actually one continuous pinched Corona Hole structure. Solar wind from it, due Tuesday night, earthquake watch from it starts now. Hurricane Melissa. Boy, that escalated quickly. Full eye, huge rotation, eye wall lightning, and all heading right for Jamaica then eastern Cuba. It's an interesting hitch in the track as the system is knocking on the door of the stronger upper level flows that will catch and yank the storm to the northeast after maybe another day. Then it's going to stop, turn, and head right into the island. Eyes open, prayer sending, should hit as a category 4 storm. Up next we're off to Iran, where the Taftun volcano is waking up. Gas emission and ground uplift indicate the rumblings of the pre-eruptive phase underway now. It is in the southern part of the country, far from Tehran. Concern is local to the region. Excellent study up next, folks. Their latest math and modeling of the moons of Uranus suggests there should be a couple frozen Earths in there. Water worlds where an icy shell traps internal heat driven by tidal sloshing of the water. They believe that like Enceladus, there could be water worlds locked below the surface around the light blue planet tilted to its side. And last but not least, examination of the November 2023 Red Sar Arc visible in China. I'm hoping in this moment you all recall our discussion of the Red Sar Arcs just a few days ago and how they're supposed to be super rare and invisible to the naked eye, but they keep being seen over and over. Here's another example, and this event was one of the 2023 solar storms that went way beyond what it should have been. The magnetic pole shift and Earth's weakening magnetic field just can't stop the solar wind disruptions from causing outsized impacts. Folks, tickets to our winter tour are going quickly, where the magnetic pole shift is the talk of the table. First one is only a month away in Omaha. Tickets are available below. It is a four-hour masterclass on surviving the coming disaster event on Earth. Five cities in five months. Get your tickets at the link below. We only have a few events left this year at Observer Ranch. Self-offense training November 1st after the Halloween event. Observer speed dating 2.0 the 7th and the 8th. Come find your prepper princess or post-apocalyptic warlord and it's really nice seeing a bunch more signups for that one this last week and a half. Film premiere in the last Pole Shift Conference of the Year, middle of the month and that AD right next to it. August Dunning is flying out for the premiere and will be there the next day for the Pole Shift Conference too. Come out for the end of our rookie season, ObserverRanch.com. Tickets to the tour are below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.